These are trying times that challenge our souls. What we believe will come to the surface. The trust we have in God is now being put on full display. Sickness and disease can bring death on its wings. Our mortality is staring us straight in the face. I have heard some say that the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, is a plague sent from God. This is a question that great theologians should answer, but not me. No matter how you view the coronavirus, it's important we consider our Christian response. The coronavirus might be our first encounter with a dangerous worldwide pandemic, but this is not the first pandemic our Christian forefathers experienced. In 165 AD, a pandemic came to Rome by the army returning from the Middle East. This plague was known as the Antonine Plague, also known as the Plague of Galen, named for the Greek physician who described it. According to scholars, this plague was either smallpox or measles, with a mortality rate of nearly 30%. Deo Cassius, a Roman historian, wrote that at the height of the plague, nearly 2,000 people per day died in Rome. The death toll in regions surrounding Rome was nearly one-third of the population, and it devastated the Roman army. The plague came in waves for nearly 15 years until 180 AD. The Roman Empire was devastated with another plague from 249 AD to 262 AD. This pandemic was known as the Plague of Cyprian because the biographer to Cyprian, Pontus of Carthage, described the plague. It is believed this plague was another round of smallpox or measles. At the height of the outbreak, 5,000 people per day died in Rome. The plague was so destructive to the Roman Empire that it caused serious manpower shortage for food production and the Roman army. The plague so weakened the empire that this period in Roman history is known as the crisis of the third century. Emperor Decius believed that the plague was a pestilence sent by the Roman gods in retaliation for the refusal of the Christian church to worship them. The church became the scapegoat and an empire-wide bloody persecution was initiated. These were times of great fear and death for the Christian church, but they were also times for the church to shine. Often, the afflicted were cast into the gutters to die out of fear of infection, but history records that Christians nursed the sick even though some believers died doing so. The willingness of Christians to care for others was dramatic and public. It is known from history 
the basic nursing care, such as giving the sick food and water, dramatically reduced mortality. In a letter from the Bishop of Rome to the Bishop of Antioch in 251 AD, mention is made that the Roman Church ministered to more than 1,500 widows and distressed persons at one time. Even Emperor Julian the Apostate complained about the mercy and compassion of the Christians. He said, the impious Galileans support not only their poor, but ours as well. The early church understood that God wanted them to love one another, to be merciful, and to be their brother's keeper. Rome was not conquered by the Christian church by their wit and apology. It was converted through their mercy and compassion. How should the Christian church of the 21st century respond to the coronavirus? Like our forefathers did with love, mercy, and being our brother's keeper. Now is the time to put aside fear because this is the time for the church to shine.